Hello guys, here with another PS Vita video. In this video, I'll be upgrading from a 8GB card to a 32GB card I just got today at Best Buy. Uh, for this week only, um, the 32GB SD um, card for the PS Vita, it's $25 off. So you could get it for $74.99. Um, that's the reason why I purchased this card. Uh, another reason why I purchased it is because uh, I just upgraded to the full year of PlayStation Plus. And if you really, really, really want to enjoy the PlayStation Plus experience, like downloading all the free games that come out every single week without having to delete, well, you actually have to have a large um, card, 8 gigabytes. You will be deleting lots of games just to enjoy new more games coming up so that's that's the main reason I bought this big card because of the price it dropped down $25 and because of the PlayStation Plus member so that's it uh, but honestly you know it's still for me in my opinion $75 for 32 gigabytes for me in my opinion is still expensive I got another 32 gigabyte here and micro SD card for $25 and this is a class 10 so like you see the difference 25 75 99 99 99 if it's on regular price which is horrible also in this video i'm gonna go ahead and be back up in my my ps vita to the my macbook pro and i'll be restoring all everything on my ps vita to this card right here so let's go ahead let's get started Okay, so just before we start backing up, uh, make sure you delete any app or any video that you don't really need. Because the less, um, the less um, things you have on your card, the faster it's going to be to up to backup. Uh, another thing to keep in mind: uh, you can up, you could back up your your PS Vita to your computer uh, via wireless. But when you're doing big updates big backups i truly recommend to use your cable instead you know the cable that you char charge uh, i rather use that because cable is always faster than wireless just keep that in mind so for this video i'm going to be using the cable so let's go ahead here and connect it uh, just make sure you have the latest update for your content manager um, application that goes on your computer um, i'm going to leave a link on my description just in case you guys want to check um, once you plug it in, make sure that in your computer, the, the logo that's on your computer changes to dark um, black. That means that the uh, PS Vita is recognized by the computer. Um, after you see that it's recognized, let's go back over here to Content Manager. Let's go there. And like you see here, since the last update, this is something new since the last update that came out that you can actually change to PC online. You can actually save online as well. But this is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be copying directly backing up to the computer. Uh, it says uh, the system will close all application and use. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want. And it tells you the size of the of, of the backup it, that for my case is going to be over 6,000 over 6,000 megabytes that's over 6 gigabytes so just that's going to take a while so let's go ahead and back it up and that's it so let's go ahead and leave it there backing up and I'll be back when it's done okay so it's about to finish the backup um, keep in mind it takes a while uh, it took me around 16 minutes to finish uh, which is not bad but obviously my my computer has an SSD so obviously it's gonna be faster on my computer so you might have a different experience okay that was good okay so now backup is complete let's press OK and here let's go ahead and close so now let's go ahead and take the card out it's already backed up so let's take the card out I'm just gonna... and there goes the 32 gigabyte that was a little tricky there okay let's put it backwards okay Go ahead. Oh, 
most of the times when you put a new card in it's gonna automatically restart tell you you have to restart your 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 system so it can uh, it always uh, put some some little files on the card that way it could recognize it correctly and we're done here Okay, what's doing? Okay, you can still see some apps and the wallpapers, but obviously that everything is not there. Let's go ahead back here. Let's go to systems. Let's go to system information. Like you see there, 29 gigabytes, not bad. Honestly, since this is a new card, I always, when I put a new card in my phone, I always like to format the card. So that way I could start fresh. Yeah, all data will be deleted, no problem. And restart. Okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead back to settings. No, no, I don't want to go there. Okay, so let's go ahead back to content manager now. Open Content Manager. Now we're gonna restore, and now let's go ahead and restore. And like you see right here, this is the the up the backup that we just did. Uh, like you see, it says uh, twenty thirteen zero three zero four, which is March fourth, which is today. So let's go ahead and choose that, and let's go ahead and choose next. Says the system will close all application is used. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. And yes, go ahead and restore. And system restoring. Of course, it's going to take a while. But just like I said before, make sure if you're going to do this, make sure the PSN network is not in maintenance or else you're going to have problems signing in when the, when you restore the whole place PS Vita. Uh, it, might, it might have problems signing in. So... Let's go ahead and wait for this to finish and I'll be back. Okay, so it's about to be done. It took me like around 25 minutes or so. And while I was waiting to, to back up, uh, restore my PlayStation Vita card, I got the time to get online and I put my 8 gigabyte card on sale and it's already been paid for. <laughs> that was very, very fast. Sold it like in less than 5 minutes. And like you see here, it says Monday, ended Monday, March 4th at 5.57. That was very, very fast. <laughs> very funny. Uh, yeah, that actually happens sometimes. Sometimes I put things for sale and I put it as buy it now only and it sells very, very fast. And done. So that's the size of the back of the restore. 60, over 6,400 more than six gigabytes and say restoration complete do you want to delete the backup file and now nah, I don't want to delete the backup file and restart PS Vita will restart uh, you could have deleted the backup file but now I'm not gonna delete it just in case anything wrong happens I can always go back in and back it up restore from that backup um, I don't really know if the wallpapers that I had before are gonna be are gonna be already placed into. Okay, so at least I got this. This was actually in my original P um, eight gigabyte card, but I don't think. Oh yes, look at that. Even the wallpapers. Okay, so now the wallpapers are restored the way they were they were arranged before that's awesome that's very very good 
So let me see how much space we got now. Dun, dun, dun. And system, system information. And now we got 23 gigabytes free. So that makes me very happy because now I'm gonna be able to install, download lots of games that I have available on my PlayStation Store account, which is awesome because um, lately there's been a lot of free um, games for the PlayStation Plus users, like um, for uh, I'm signing later on, like for example, um, Uncharted Drake Golden Abyss went went free a couple months ago, and I I still think it's free for PlayStation Plus owners, and also Gravity Rush also uh, Wipeout 2048 also is is for free. Um, tomorrow this Gaia 3 is gonna be for free that's a strategy RPG game and I, I don't really play RPG games but since it's free I'm gonna go ahead and try it and of course you know lots of more downloadable games that I have that I had to been deleting just because of, of lack of space but now I'm good so I can now have Ninja Gaiden 1 and Ninja Gaiden 2 on the same system which is awesome so guys, this is it. Like I said, very easy process. If you're having problems, just make sure you turn off the system, take off the car, put it back in, you know, then restart again. So guys, I hope you guys like the video and stay tuned for later on. I'll be uploading videos of Major League Baseball, the show 13. Till next time, guys.